Hello everyone, Joe Marquez here from the Sons of Technology to talk to you a little bit about Screencastify's new submit beta option. Now, this is in beta right now, but I will place the link of how you can subscribe or get access to this beta from Screencastify. Now, I wanted to go over this with you because there's a few things that I've discovered um, that many other people have probably discovered, but it'll help you to decide the settings you want to place in your um, Screencastify submit beta assignment. Now, first of all, the reason I love this is because you and your students do not need the Chrome extension. So that means you can do this with students without asking them to download the Screencastify Chrome extension or without um, asking your IT to install that as well. So Submit Beta works all on its own without the use of the extension. So I want to show you how to create an assignment. I'm going to talk about the different things that you might want to do within that assignment. So the first thing you're going to do is create a title. So I'm just going to do one called, Hey, what is up? And under the instructions, I'm just going to say, what is going on? You know, whatever. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to hit next. Um, and it says the screen recording type. Do you want it to be a screen recording of something they're doing or do you want it to be just their face or the webcam? So most likely you're going to do the screen recording option. Enable email notifications. That means you are going to get notifi notified whenever somebody submits. Now, if you're going to be utilizing uh, Google Classroom for this, you can definitely just turn that off. Um, the next one is share all the videos with the submitters. What this means is if you don't select this, then the students will only be able to see their video and they will not be able to see other students' videos. So if your um, component of this is collaboration, then you're definitely going to want to click that on. And then you're going to select next. And it says, okay, how do you want to send this assignment out, right? So if you use um, Microsoft uh, Teams, you can just copy the link and post it there. If you use micro, uh, if you use Google Classroom, it's fantastic. You just click this link and then you can choose your class. So I'm going to click my remote learning class and then your action. So you get the same actions as you would if you were be uh, issuing this through Google Classroom. Now here's the big thing: um, if you want the students to be able to attach their assignment or attach their video directly into Google Classroom, there's a couple things you need to do. First is you're going to create the assignment and click go. The only way the students can actually attach this assignment is if down here you actually select a due date. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to select tomorrow as the due date. I'm going to definitely just remove points. Points don't matter right here. Well, then let me just bring it down to one. Um, and then you can put it in um, topics that you already have. So I'm going to go ahead and put it underneath um, the April 13th right there. And so it'll push this out right to your classroom. I'm going to do another one. Now remember, this one says, hey, what's up? Um, I'm going to do another one without the option of the um, without the option of the due date. So I'm going to go ahead and do another assignment right here. I'm going to title this no due date, just so you see. I'm just going to put random words there. Same thing right there. I'm going to make it available to everybody. I'm going to click next. And then once you get the link, you're still going to then place it in Google Classroom. But this time we are not going to be placing a due date on it. So I'm going to select Google Classroom. Action, I'm going to create it as an assignment. And I'm not going to place a due date on this. So I want to I want you to show you the difference when students come in to record. So now that we're here, I'm going to go in as a student to show you what your students would see. So we're in here. Here's April right here. Here we go. Hey, what's up? So there we go. We're going to click on it. They're going to click on this assignment right here. Now notice that I don't have the Screencastify extension. So you can see that you can just click record right here and it looks just like you would if you had the extension. So I'm going to click share. It's going to go five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to say, hey, you know, so today I did this, blah, 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 this or that. Um, and then I'm going to hit stop sharing just so it just quickly records that for me. You can see that it's quickly processing the video for the student. They can rewatch it if they want. If they want to re-record themselves, they can start over. I'm going to hit submit. And we're done. So it looks like we can share this to the classroom, right? And because the assignment's name was, hey, what's up? I'm going to choose the classroom and I'm going to choose the assignment right there. Hey, what's up? And I'm going to hit go. Now, you, I'm going to go ahead then hit attach 
right there. And then have the students always click view assignment and then always remind them when they're done, select turn in. So when they add it to the Google Classroom, it's not gonna automatically hit turn in. So this is what you definitely wanna make sure they are doing. And now as the classroom teacher, I can come right back here. I can go into my Google Classroom right here. And when I'm in my classroom, you can see that when I select that assignment, the one that's called, hey, what's up? and I clicked view assignment, I can see that one has turned it in and I can click right here and it will automatically take me to that student's assignment and I can listen to it right here. So pretty neat, pretty great way to real quickly have students go right into the video. But I wanna show you the other one that we did without a due date, okay? So this is the one without a due date. So this one was called no due date. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna select record and then hit share, five, four, three, two, one. So now we're recording, the kids would say blah, 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 and hit stop sharing. And you can now see right here, after it's done preparing the video, you're gonna see all of the same um, actions that you normally would have had, but the problem is you're not gonna be able to actually add it directly to the Google Classroom. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to click share to classroom and remember we're looking the one that says no due date. So I'm going to select my class and no due date is not there. It's not there because we didn't select a due date. So if you want the students to be able to share the video directly to Google Classroom, you are absolutely going to have to select a due date. Now that due date can be far into the future uh, because like me, I've never put due dates on Google Classroom because I don't want, um, to, I don't just, I don't do that. Um, but if you um, don't, you're going to have to do that for this. We don't want the students to be downloading the video. And um, when you're doing it this way, now the student's video is shared with you. And um, since we select it, select it as other submissions can be viewed, it gets placed in your Google Drive um, as a shared video. So let me show you. If I click on share, it'll show you that this link is, is restricted to who? Everybody within that Google Classroom. So that's the key to this is we want to make sure everybody can view it because now the students can then place the video in a Google slide deck for all to view. So that's extremely important. So um, the, the number one thing I need you to understand is when you are utilizing this Screencastify um, submit um, and you do want the students to directly embed it into a Google Classroom um, uh, assignment, you have to make sure you choose and a assignment due date when you are pushing it out to Google Classroom. So, um, and, and one more thing, some people may be asking, what, what, why are you doing it this way? Flipgrid already does all this stuff and you can do it. Uh, it's no secret that I absolutely love Flipgrid, but there are some schools out there that have not approved Flipgrid as an approved um, uh, uh, approved app that their teachers can use. And so they are looking for another way for their students to be able to record. And also another key to this is um, sometimes the IT departments or sometimes uh, the, 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 the technology department will not allow students to have extensions um, embedded into their um, into their browser. So this is a way that you can get Screencastify into Google Classroom or into Microsoft Teams um, and, and the students do not have to have the extensions installed. The teacher does not either. And it's a great way to allow all the assignments to be placed in an organized fashion. So let me show you. All of the videos that you that the students create are going to be in a new folder called Screencastify Submit and every single video is gonna be placed in whatever you named that assignment. So if we come up here to the Hey What's Up, we notice that one student, the fake student two, is the one that placed it in. So Screencastify Submit, a great new option for video in your class during this remote learning and when you're back into face-to-face -face classrooms together. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, please make sure you reach out to us um, on Twitter at Sons of Tech EDU. Um, definitely subscribe to our Sons of Technology um, uh, YouTube channel as well. And if you want to contact me directly, Joe Marquez, please feel free to contact me on Twitter as well at Joe Marquez 70. Thank you so much and have yourself a wonderful day.